hey guys, it's Monica. I have to come clean and excuse the mess behind me. My office and home is in pretty poor condition. But I have to come clean. Um, you know, it's a new year and everyone's been talking about their goals and, and all of that. And I do know that when I publicly hold myself accountable, I'm much more successful. And I'm sort of, uh, when I publicly hold myself accountable in that sense that I stick to it. You know, I'm really, really strongly motivated. So, although it did fail me in December. So, uh, back in December, I did a keto diet update on my, um, my ketogenic diet. And I had talked about the fact that I've been really, I think, slacking and I had gained some weight. And I was really unhappy because what happened is in September... I took a full-time job with the company I am as a company trainer. Now, I've worked for them part-time as a company trainer for many, many years, and I've also worked part-time in real estate sales with Jay. So I took this job in September, and at that same time, of course, all my hours changed. The weather started to change. I couldn't do my rail trail walks. I was having a hard time getting to my gym, which is local here in Hampstead, where I live. I was having a hard time getting to the gym because of their hours and their class schedule, but more importantly, my hours. And I just... I can't get up at 4.30 and get out the door and go to a gym. I just can't do it. So I know I own the weight gain myself, and I can blame it on work and schedules and all of that stuff. Uh, and I know I have to make adjustments for my lifestyle to incorporate fitness into it because it's, it's hugely important to me. So, you know, in December I said, okay, I gained 8 pounds, but I'm taking it right off. I'm not going to have it hang around. And you know what? That 8 turned into 11 before I knew it. And you know what happens? 11 turns into 20, 20 turns into 30, 30, 40, you know, and on and on. And the next thing you know, you've gained 60 pounds. And it happens just as quick as you get to be 60 years old. So, I mean, 11 pounds, I was like totally disgusted. I was still following keto, sort of, because all of December, from Thanksgiving on, it was holiday party after holiday party, and I did a total pig out carb load like you would not believe. I mean, I saw a carbohydrate, and I would, I couldn't help myself. Anyways, uh, totally disgusting. No, you know, no physical activity, you know, just being working, working, and not having the time to go to the gym, and eating like a carboholic. So, I decided... I was going to, you know, get back on a regimen. So that was my New Year's resolution. I was going to try to really figure out what I was going to do with my fitness, get back to keto. I log everything in my fitness pal, what I eat, everything, so I know exactly where I am as far as my macros. So I'm back on track with that. I'm thrilled about that. I, I, as hot as it was, I joined a new gym, and this gym is right near where I work. So I can leave work and get to a spin class in time because they have spin class like three nights a week at 5 30. perfect timing for me so um you know i can do all of that and i'm really thrilled that i made that decision as hot as it was but um you know i really I, i'm liking the gym so far and that between being back on keto um i've lost two pounds out of the 11 so i'm down to nine so while I can't celebrate because I still have to lose nine pounds, but I can celebrate because I've recommitted to doing this publicly and um, I've recommitted to keto. And I know many people fall off fitness programs. And the whole thing is that you pick yourself up, you brush yourself off, you get right back on the wagon. And, um, and that's what I'm doing. So um, back keto full time and uh, incorporating some spin classes with the new gym. I'm like super excited and I'm going to lose this nine pounds. And um, yeah, so that's my goal. I'm going to take off the nine pounds, stick on my program and get really work on, you know, on health and fitness and of course, my skincare. If you're watching my videos, you know that's a huge, huge thing. I just did a TJ Maxx haul. I got to share with everyone later. But um, you know, all of that's going to be be really important. And I'm back on track. Keto. Yeah.